Black Queen. Um, I just wanted to come. This is not really a um, topic. This is just something that I wanted to talk about. Something. This is like more or less a therapy session for me. Um, I want to talk about the fact that I've never had a real friend. Um, I've met a lot of people in my life, a lot, but I can honestly say that I've never had a true friend or a real friend. And that kind of makes me sad. I was thinking about it. And I'm like, that kind of makes me sad because I'm a really cool person. I'm down to earth. I'm easy to get along with. I'm fun to be around. I'm uplifting. I'm, I enjoy life. And, but I've never had a real friend. Um, when I first moved to Pittsburgh, I'm not originally from Pittsburgh, so I don't know anybody here. My mom is the, my mom originated here, so whenever I moved here, everybody that I met basically knew my mom. And since my mom's a piece of shit, and you know all of my mom's friends were pieces of shit, and all of their kids were pieces of shit as well, you know. So I started out hanging out with my mom's friends' kids, and then I realized that they weren't really my crowd. They were uh, another thing is they were females and. I'm not anti-female, but then on a certain level, I kind of am because a lot of them are just confused and they have uh, these jealousy issues and I just can't deal with it. But, um, hanging around them, it wasn't right for me. So then I started hanging around faggots. And I, I call them faggots because that's what they are. There is a difference between a gay man and a faggot. And a gay man is just a... A guy that likes to have sex with other men or likes to be in a relationship with other men and he that's and he does his thing and he's a good person outside of that, you know, I mean that doesn't really define him. Faggots, that is what defines them. Sucking dick and fucking defines them. So I was hanging out with faggots and the reason why they liked me or no, they didn't even like me. The reason why they hung around me is because I was I'm feminine looking. I'm feminine acting, and guys were attracted to me, you know, like the guys that they were, they had, they were messing around with gay men, and they would see that straight guys, and guys that were attracted to females were hitting on me and trying to get with me, and they envy that, you know, they envy that, so they hung around me to try to emulate my style so that they can get that for themselves, but they never truly liked me. And, you know, I'm realizing that now, that they exploited my femininity, you know? That's all it really was. I've never had a friend that I really truly connected with or that I liked or that truly liked me and connected with me. You know, I've never had a friend that I trust or, you know, that trusted me. I just never truly had a real friend that would look out for me in my time of need that will uplift me. I'm a very uplifting person and I'm very strong emotionally. But I mean, there are times when I would still like for somebody to give me some advice or just give me some uplifting kind words or say something nice about me just to help me to feel better about myself. Because it's that type of friend that I am. I will say things to you, you know, ran randomly just to help you feel better about yourself. So I, I, I would like that in return. It just really bothers me, you know? It really makes me sad that in 26 years, I haven't had a real friend. Um, hopefully that will change. I mean, I'm confident that it will, but I'm really looking forward to that changing because <sighs> it's just good. I mean, it's okay being by myself and being alone, but it's better to have people around. But I'm the type of person that I'm 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 the type of person where I'd rather be by myself and happy and comfortable and peaceful than be involved with a whole bunch of different people that I don't like just to have people around me. That's not my frame of mind. I'm a leader. So a leader has to be okay with being by themselves sometimes. Whenever you're leading, you're leading. You know, there are people behind you. And they're all together, but they are followers. You know, they are to follow, you are to lead. So that's the role that I play. 
And until I find other leaders, then I'm going to remain by myself. So yeah, it's sad. And <laughs> I mean, I, I handle it very well. Very well. I'm very emotionally independent. I'm, I'm independent all the way around. Financially, spiritually, and emotionally. It doesn't get any better than that, you know? So I have everything that a person needs to have or, or wants to have to make it in this world. So all in all, I'm good. But, like I said, I would like to have a friend. I would like to attract a person into my life that I can connect with. And that has the same passions as I do. Wants the same things that are life as me. And somebody that I can work with towards a common goal. So, yeah. Just wanted to put that out there. And it's not... I mean, you could feel for me. I would like for you to feel for me, you know. Because, <laughs> I mean, I just am a good friend. I really do. So because I'm a good person. I'm a good person and I'm a good friend. So I deserve a good friend. I'm just happy to have separated myself from all the bad influences that were around me. I'm glad that I was um, able to make that decision, which a lot of people aren't strong enough to make. So um, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself for who I am and the things that I've done and the, the decisions that I made. But like I said, I'm ready to have somebody to share my life with. A friend. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Just wanted to talk about that, get that out. More or less for me. And I mean, you can watch it and you can comment on it if you would like to. If you don't, you know, just watch it and feel how you feel. Signing out. <laughs>